In this video, I just want to show you how we can customize the integrated development environment, the IDE, that is Visual Studio. So let's start it up again. And I'm going to open up the project that I was working on last time. Notice that it's in the recent files list, so I could just click on it here. Alternatively, I can click on open a project or solution. Let's do it this way for now, so we can see which file we need to open up. Here's my D drive. This is where I'm storing my projects. And here's the one I was working on last time. Notice it's a folder. Inside that folder, there's a solution file, SLM. That's the file which ties together all of the other files that make up my application. That's the file which I need to open. And here's the application I was working on last time. Here's my form. And here's the code behind it. A little word of warning, first of all. Sometimes you might accidentally double click on the background of the form itself. Watch what happens when I do this. I've got another procedure stub here called Form 1 Load. Any code which I write in here will automatically run when I run up the application, which will cause the form to load. But I don't need this, so I'm going to get rid of it. I'm simply going to delete this procedure stub. Another word of warning, you might accidentally, or even deliberately, click on this, where it says one reference. Let's take a look. I've clicked on that, something has appeared, and I'm going to click on this as well. I have another tab across the top. And what I can see here looks very complicated indeed. This is code which runs when you run the form, but you don't really need to see it if you're a beginner. In fact, it's quite daunting when you look at it. Suffice to say for now, it's actually initialising the form. It's setting up the form and it's placing the button on there and it's changing various properties of the button. I strongly recommend you leave this alone until you have a better understanding of what it does. I'm just going to close down this tab. And I'm back to something more familiar. Anyway, what I want to talk about now is how we can customise this programming environment. You were given some options when you ran it up for the first time, but you can change those options inside Tools, Options. Notice I'm using a colour theme, blue, but you can change it to dark if you wish. Some people much prefer this. To be honest, I don't. I prefer black on white, not white on black. It really is a matter of preference. I'm going to switch it back to the way it was. I can also have finer control over the keyword colours and over the text colours, and any other colours that you see on here for that matter. We can do this by selecting Fonts and Colours. You can see there's a lot of options here. Keyword, the default colour is blue, and I can switch that to magenta. You do need to be a little bit careful though, because some colours have special meanings and it can start looking very messy as well. If needs be, you can change things back. Notice there's an option here to use defaults. Some people like to increase the font size as well. It's entirely up to you. Something else I want to change to give myself some more room on the screen is to switch off these line numbers. I can do that by going to Text Editor, All Languages, and then here, Line Numbers. Notice I can have different configurations depending on the programming language I'm using. And there's one more thing I want to change, and that's some of the default file locations. I can do that underneath Projects and Solutions locations. 
you can see I've already set my project's location to my D drive. Needless to say, there are lots more options which you can set in here, and I'll be honest, I don't know what half of them are. But when I need them, I'll find them. Click OK for your changes to take effect.